Hi guys, do you ever wonder what dead band does and uh, what how does it affect your flying skill? And uh, how can a dead band make you fly better or worse? And I was always wonder what dead band actually do on the red because it affect your stick, right? It it must affect something on the red. But I don't know exactly. I, I cannot find an explanation anywhere on the internet. So my guess is either that band uh, affect like the picture number one, number two, or number three here. Number one is like when you apply that band, the red cur curve will move away from the dead band only in the initial part, but not in the maximum part the maximum red will stay the same in my first assumption my second assumption is that i applied dead band the red curve is covered by the dead band zone and when the stick move out of the dead band zone it's gonna be a jerk movement like here but i'm not sure or Will dead band work like in the picture number three? When uh, when where when I apply uh, the dead band, the whole red curve will move away from the dead band zone equally. I don't know. So let's find out what dead band actually works and what can it do to your flying skill. Right now, I have my quadcopter plugged into the computer and my Taranis transmitter turned on so whenever I move the stick uh, the parameter in the in all axis is moving to here so let's start with how dead band work and I will explain to you by this page like uh, this because this is the only way that I can show you some parameter on one axis and the preview drawn right here too this is the only way I can figure it out right now so bear with me and first if I uh, let's say put a zero dead band on the jaw oh uh, before that there are RC dead band which control the dead band on roll axis and pitch axis your dead band which control dead band on your axis and 3D throttle dead band which we don't normally use except you, when you fly a 3D uh, quadcopter or 3D helicopter is, is the dead band on your throttle and uh, which we don't normally use so I will skip it in this video let's start with the your dead band because we see the your parameter here uh, the center stick is uh, 1500 right 1500 is here why the number is not in the center of the bar that's strange but uh, let's move on so if we have zero dead band whenever I move the yaw stick which in this case is pretty solid in the center and uh, whenever I move the yaw stick let's say one 1501 start from 1501 and the quad copy will move in the preview picture here or 1499 or less and the quad copy will start moving from 1499 right here because there's no dead bad any movement in the stick uh, results in the quad copy movement but if I give the dead band of maximum of uh, the yaw dead band maximum is 100 in case you don't know it just raise the bar here is the maximum which is 100 and if I put 100 on the yaw dead band what happened is that when I move the yaw stick let's say 1550 or more 1550 or more but let's see the preview part nothing is moving right the point of is not moving and let's say i move the yaw to the left like 1450 1450 right here and the quadcopter is not moving because the yaw stick is still in the dead band zone so dead band of 100 means that minus 100 from the center and plus 100 from the center so in this case when i want to move my quadcopter 
on the yaw axis I need to move the stick lower than 1400 or higher than 1600 so I will show you here whenever I move the stick lower than 1400 see here 14 and 15 something and the quadcopter, quadcopter is not moving right here only when I lower it than 1400 and the quadcopter is moving on the yaw axis right here and uh, the same thing happened in the other side when I move stick more than 1600 the quadcopter will start moving here so that is the dead band but uh, you're gonna be surprised that it, it affects the red curve too but how let's remove the dead band first and see how our yaw red is right now uh, so your red is the blue line so the blue line is here and the maximum red degree per second is 75 or 754 here yeah, remember 754 degree per second and the, the curvature of the yaw red right now so we're gonna change the dead band of the yaw let's say maximum dead band on yaw 100 save and return to the red curve again so now the yaw red curve uh, reduced its maximum from 754 to 315 degree per second that's a lot and if you look closer to uh, the, the center area of the yaw red curve the center area is flat right right here flat this is the minus 100 dead band and plus 100 dead band it is flat your stake does nothing to your quadcopter that's how the dead band effect so the dead band will work like the picture number three in this case where the whole red curve will move aside from the dead band zone and now how does dead band make you fly better and I will show you because our stick, we have only two sticks to control, right? In mode 2, the left stick, uh, you control the yaw axis and your throttle. In mode 2, the right stick control the roll axis and your pitch axis. We have two sticks to control four axis. So, let's say I move throttle. I want to move my throttle only. And I don't want to move my yaw. I just want to increase thrust. But what happens if I have zero dead band on the yaw axis? Right now we have zero dead band on yaw. And when I move throttle, let's say I increase it to maximum. Boom. Do you, do you notice anything change on the yaw? Right? Yeah, I just I just want to move your throttle. But something changed on the yaw. And if I have zero dead band, let's see the preview again. I will increase my throttle again. One, two, three. See? That is something changed a lot in my quadcopter. I will increase throttle quickly again uh, and see the preview quadcopter. One, two, and three. See, because I'm not a robot, when I move my throttle stick, I slip on the yaw axis a little bit too. Not a little bit in this case because the quad twitch like a lot because we, I have zero dead band on the yaw axis and if I uh, put some dead band on yaw let's say 50 on dead band on the yaw axis for demonstration 50 dead band when I want to move my throttle quickly what happened to the previous point right here Boom. only a little bit only a little bit right I'll do it again one, two, and three. Foo. Nothing move on the yard seat in the preview quad cover. Do it again to prove. I move, I increase my throttle. Foo. The preview quad cover doesn't move anything. Right? Here, I move the throttle like up and down, up and down, minimum, maximum, minimum, maximum. Oh, that's, that's a slip. Minimum, maximum, minimum, maximum. And the preview quad cover doesn't move in your exit at all because I have some dead band to counter that slip 
that's the benefit of dead band. So whenever I increase my throttle, my quad couple will not twitch on the yaw axis. And also the roll and pitch axis is the same thing. If I have some dead band like 32, 32 is the maximum dead band we can have on the, the roll and pitch axis. I don't know why, but that's the maximum you can have. When I move my roll and my pitch flip like 43, 14, 90 something here, right? And all 15, 15, uh, 20, 15 something. I will try to move my roll as precise as possible without move my pitch. And sometimes it's just 15, 16. You see that there is a lot of deviation in pitch axis when I want to move my roll axis, right? And if I don't have any dead band at all, what happened to my quadcopter is that when I want to roll, my quadcopter will have a little pitch too. So I gonna put dead band on my RC dead band like 15 or 10 something but this quadcopter is not a fast quadcopter is is uh, is supposed to be a cinematic quadcopter so i just put 10 on rc dead band i'm not gonna make a flip flop a lot on this quadcopter and the yaw dead band i gotta put like 18 that should be enough but for my freestyle quad that i usually use uh every day i put RC dead band like 15 and your dead band like 20. And that's how I can get a precise movement like uh, the quad act like what I intend it to do, not in the other axis that I, that I don't want it to move. That's how dead band benefits uh, you or me or other people, especially those people who have shaking finger or the people who have Parkinson, dead band will help them a lot. And uh, that is for dead band. And if you want to support this channel, and you can do it by become my Patreon on this website, or just direct cash into my PayPal account. I mentioned about monetary support because in this COVID-19 pandemic, my job is like stop. I, I cannot do anything. I don't have the income I usually have. I have like 70% uh, less income than I usually have. And after the COVID-19 pandemic, it's not 100% sure that I will have the same job. So if you want to support me and if you can do it, so uh, I accept your generosity, let's say that. Thank you for watching and see you next video. Bye bye.